From the NMSU Department of Journalism and Media Studies in collaboration with KRWG, this is the student-produced News 22, where news matters. Good evening, everyone. I'm Raven Vialiel. And I'm Heba Hamedi. New Mexico State Offensive Coordinator and Quarterbacks Coach Tyler Wright is still under investigation following over 150 racist, sexist, and homophobic posts on his ex account. Since the investigation, Wright's bio, banner, and profile photo have changed. His account is also now private instead of public. A university spokesperson did not have any updates following the investigation. However, Wright is still unemployed by NMSU. The Aggies athletic director has said that Wright will not be with the team. So far, he has missed two games with the Aggies. A fire that broke out in a Pekin storage facility in Stallman Farms is fully out. The Donia Anna County Fire Rescue released that information just minutes ago. The cause of the fire is currently under investigation. The facility contained 380,000 pounds of pecans. The building's concrete roof also collapsed during the incident. The blaze was controlled quickly, but because of the density of the pecans, smoldering has continued. Two firefighters are still at the scene for fire watch. There are no injuries. Well, it has been sweltering this week, hasn't it, Raven? It really has. I wonder when it's going to start cooling off. I know. Elijah, what can you tell us about that weather? Good evening, everybody. Today is a beautiful day in Las Cruces, New Mexico with a high of 89 degrees. It is beautifully and sunny. That humidity is 11 percent and that dew point is only at 29. Let's go to our next one. Uh, that high today is, of course, at 89 degrees, that low at 55 and that average at a beautiful 81. As we can see in years past, though, a record high was in 1996 at 92 degrees and that low was at 34 in 1970. And let's shoot back to that desk, shall we? With close proximity to Spaceport America, the city of Las Cruces is hoping space travel will boost the economy. Later this month, the city will host the second annual Las Cruces Air and Space Expo. There will be an air show, air racing, and STEM and space exhibits at the Las Cruces Airport. It'll be next weekend from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. October 19th and 20th. Stay tuned. Elijah will be back with your national weather forecast. Welcome, Welcome back. back. You're watching News 22 Thursday, where news matters. And Elijah is next with the national weather forecast. Thanks, guys. Let's go ahead and take a look at our national weather map here today. As we can see in Los Angeles, it's a beautiful 82 degrees, but Phoenix, of course, is going to take the win at 106. It doesn't look like it's cooling down there anytime soon. San Antonio down here at a beautiful 94 degrees. I'm going to see up in Seattle though. They're really taking it for all of us at 62. And across to the other side, as we can see, we're going to move over here in Boston at 57. So as we can see, we're really changing those temperatures, really getting into fall. A lot of places like Phoenix though are not jumping on the board. Let's go to our next map. And as we can see for Hurricane Milton, as in, um, we can see here as this recent map has come out, it is really taking effect in this lower region of Florida and coming across all of it. As we can see the aftermath of it, as we just saw later at the desk, the toll that it really took on the state of Florida. Let's go to our next map. And lastly, again, we can see here truly just how much of an effect it took Right here in that middle point, right across the coast, it really hit the most. And as we can see, slowly how it was moving to and away on Sunday. And let's hit a commercial break before I'll be back with your local weather forecast. Hello, and I'm back with your local weather forecast. As we can see in Albuquerque, it's beautiful 80 degrees. Las Cruces at 89. Roswell, though, taking the win at 92. Farmington all the way up there at 83. And Deming, of course, kind of in the middle of all of those at 90. And as we can see, moving here for tomorrow, it is going to be Santa Fe at 88. Albuquerque at 83. Rio Doso, beautiful as always, at 81. And Las Cruces at 92, kind of really warming up on us instead of cooling down like it's supposed to, and Deming also at 92 degrees. In Alamogordo tomorrow, it's going to be that low of 55 we're going to see tonight, but tomorrow, that high of 88. Clear, sunny skies, and tonight, clear skies be 52 in truth or consequences, and 91 is going to be your high, nice, and sunny for tomorrow. In Silver City for tonight, 53. Tomorrow, a beautiful 84. 
with the little cloudy skies and in Las Cruces, 55 tonight if you want to sit outside and watch the stars. And tomorrow is going to be that high of 92, nice and sunny. And let's shoot back to that desk. Thanks, Elijah. Robots fought it out last Saturday at Cruces Creatives. The New Mexico Robot Club hosted Robot Combat on October 5th. More than 16 teams from all over the Southwest brought their best bot fighters. The all-day event was similar to the hit Battle Bot series on Max. These robot builders didn't have to break out the bank to buy parts. They used 3D printed parts and cheap circuit boards and stuff. If you think of BattleBots as the uh, Major League Baseball team, right? What you're looking at here is like your AAA team, right? These are your hometown people that work in their garage, build their robots, and they bring it out here to compete with their friends. For more information, you can visit robotcombatevents.com. Well, Raven, did you catch that game last night? It was brutal. It really was. Carpio, what can you tell us about sports? Well, I'm going to tell you, well, I'm going to tell you right now is that it was a bad night for NMSU sports. But I'll tell you more, more when the NMSU News 22 comes back. This is KRWG-TV News 22 Sports. For the win! He got it! Welcome back, guys. I'm Carpio Grego. Now let's talk about some NMSU sports. And if you're looking for any hope on the volleyball court let yesterday in El Paso, I'm sorry guys, but it's just more losing there too. Last night wrapped up a two match sweep by the Miners at home as the Aggies lost three sets to one the night after getting swept in three straight sets. Rough couple nights. Over the past two nights, the Aggies allowed 95 kills from the Miners and having 38 combined errors uh, as the Aggies knocked themselves back to 500, coming off three straight wins before against Louisiana Tech and Kennesaw State. The next matches are against Sam Houston this weekend on the road, so make sure to turn in ESPN Plus to see if the team can start another winning streak. Now that's all I have for sports for you guys tonight. Make sure to join us, uh, join us next week for more sports action. Still ahead, Elijah's going to be back with, to like, take a look at your five-day forecast. Now let's take a look at our five-day weather forecast. As we can see, for the rest of this week, it's going to be beautiful and sunny, of course at a 92 degrees on Friday, but as we're gonna see, we're gonna see a little bit of a heat wave continue through that 92 and 87 on Sunday, on Tuesday. And that's all for News 22 Thursday. Thank you everyone for joining us tonight. Tune in next week for more news. I'm Raven Vialial. And I'm Heba Hamedi, and from the whole News 22 team, Raven, Elijah, Carpio, and myself, have a good night and a great weekend. This news brief in Español is brought to you by Noticias 22, la información más completa de Nuevo México, El Paso y la Frontera. Noticias 22. Buenas tardes, mi nombre es Arturo Quesada y estas son las breves de hoy con Noticias 22. Hace algunas semanas informamos que el coordinador Tyler Wright de Fútbol de Equipo de la Universidad Estatal de Nuevo México había hecho comentarios hirientes a mujeres, personas afroamericanas, hispanos y gente de la comunidad LGBT. Recientemente se borraron 150 tweets, los cuales se hicieron entre los años 2011 y 2014, mientras el entrenador Wright trabajaba con Tarleton State cerca de Dallas. Wright también borró el nombre de la universidad de su cuenta y cambió su biografía. Banner y foto de perfil para eliminar cualquier rastro de NMSU en ella y su cuenta ha pasado de ser pública a privada. Aunque no hay actualizaciones sobre la investigación que la universidad empezó hacia Wright, Michael Navarrete, director de información, confirmó que Tyler Wright sigue empleado por NMSU. Asimismo, el director atlético informó que aunque Wright sigue empleado, él ya no estará con el equipo mientras que la universidad sigue investigando su caso. Hasta el día de hoy, Wright ya ha faltado a dos juegos, incluyendo el juego principal contra la Universidad de Nuevo México, de Alburquerque y otro partido contra Jacksonville State ayer. El incendio que sucedió el martes al sur de Mesilla ya está bajo control. La causa del fuego está bajo investigación según el subjefe de bomberos del condado de Doña Ana. El fuego empezó en un almacenamiento de nuez que, cuen, que contenía 380 mil libras de nuez. El techo del edificio estaba construido de cemento y se colapsó durante el accidente de acuerdo a un comunicado de prensa del condado Doña Ana. 
Eso es todo por ahora. Muchas gracias por ver Noticias 22 y buenas noches.